Hi, welcome back to Electrical Industry Network's Training Drawing, Part 5. This is the last part in this series. And so far we have covered um, and taken a look at the cover sheet with all this basic information of where the job's at, architect, so on and so forth. We've taken a look at uh, sheet E1, which has some um, diagrams as far diagrams and symbols as far as the fixtures and receptacles, the layouts, home runs, panels, and some existing information. The most important on this page for us was the keynotes. On the third page, we have gone through and taken a look at the one-line drawing as far as uh, types of panels, sizes, uh, this doesn't give you a location as indicated before, symbols list, panel schedules, and specific notes to the one-line diagram. And here we're on the final page, and this covers the electrical specifications, some abbreviations, some fire alarm symbols, uh, miscellaneous. So let's take a closer look at the abbreviations here. And the abbreviations, you'll find these abbreviations on like the sheet E1 and E2, so on and so forth. They're uh, basically all over the plan, so you got to have a symbols page to find out what each one means. So here's our abbreviations, and I'm not going to go through them each and independently, but you can kind of take a look at some of these, and you know what uh, the symbols are meaning on the main pages. And then we'll take a look over here at uh, some more. You've got some 20 amp outlets, spec grade. This is pretty generic here. There's more 20 amp. Now we're going to get into special outlet, 600 volt special outlet, 250 volt special outlet. Um, as always, see plan for exact requirements on that one. You've got some floor boxes. In this particular case here, it's spelling out you know, Hubble, Carlon are equal. Uh, well, price-wise, depending on what job you're on, you're going to go with equal. And you got some motor information, exhaust fan, disconnects, whether it's fused or not, time clock information. So there's there's a wealth of knowledge on these pages as far as what each one means. Different electrical engineers may change it up just a little bit. I'm not saying that all of them do, but um, you'll want to pay attention to that. In the specifications, we've got the intent. What's the purpose of our specifications? Well, basically, it's to tell you what the architect, owner, electrical engineer, uh, the people that pay the bills, what what do they want? You've got your general information, um, remodels, materials, and methods. In other words, don't buy anything that's not uh, UL approved and install. Uh, there's just different informations in here. You've got uh, lumineers, aka light fixtures, and it'll talk about the types of lamps. Let me see if I can zoom in on that one a little bit here. That's what we're talking about. The types of lamps, whips, and accessories. When you go to order your light fixtures or install your light fixtures, do they come with whips or not? Uh, a lot of that's going to be in your submittals, but uh, it all depends on what you provide to the, the architect as far as what your bid is. And we'll move on up and over here just a little bit. The wiring devices up in here, uh, minimum 20 amp, mostly on commercial. That's about what you're going to see. Um, there are some ways to get around that, but if they want a 20 amp outlet, best give them a 20 amp outlet. General, those are the uh, basic information sheets as far as electrical drawings are concerned. And I want to pop back to this page right here. This one is something that you want to spend a little bit more time on along with your e-sheet to know what each one of these symbols is. Um, this particular one right in here is just basically it's a J-box. And how do I know that? Well, I went back to the um, abbreviations page and going back with the abbreviations page CD3 as well it's just going to tell you that that's a three-way switch if you don't know that already what your hashtags mean uh, the keynotes are explained on this particular video so that's a basic overview of the uh, training drawings at this point in time I'm putting together some more detailed prints and drawings 
and um, those are going to be posted on my website. I'm not going to upload those to YouTube. So if you're interested in learning more as far as reading electrical prints and drawings, then head on over to the website at electricalindustrynetwork.com and we'll see you there. Thanks for watching this series and if you have any questions let me know and I'll talk at you later. Have a great day. See ya.